Sleep terrors are something that happens in a fairly small percentage of children, about 3%, and typically it's when children are around about four years of age when they might have their first one. A sleep terror will occur about an hour and a half to somewhere around three hours after sleep, and it's when the child's in their deepest sleep. What you'll see is the child's gonna wake up and they may, they may be moaning or crying, they, they may have their eyes open, they may thrash around, and they will look very scared. However, the child will have no memory of what's going on. When you wake up in the morning, he or she won't have any memory of this. So it's terrifying for parents, but it's not for children. So what can you do? A few key things. One is to make sure your child's safe. You want to just pay attention to their environment, make sure they don't harm themselves. You might have to move some furniture around. So just keep them safe during the time that they're having sleep, uh, sleep terror. Sleep terrors can last up to an hour, but most of the time they're quite shorter. The other thing to do is to try and make sure your child's getting adequate rest and maybe put him or her to sleep a little bit earlier. So again, it's nothing to be concerned about. It's not terrifying for the child. It's more important for you as a parent to stay calm. The other thing you want to do is to avoid having a conversation with your child about what she did in the night. Again, she has no memory of this. You don't want her to get terrified about what she's doing in the night that you're seeing when she has no memory of it.